back to the website and refresh. Brilliant, so we've got a new title and my preferred tagline as well. Okay, so the next thing to do is actually to change the theme of the website. Now, the theme is just the look and feel of your, your blog, of your website. So it's got nothing to do with the actual content. So when we change the theme, um, the, the overall layout will be different, but the actual, you know, the title, the tagline, any posts or, um, that we make will, will remain, that will stay static. Okay, so let's go and have a look at how we do that. Back in the admin panel, we need to find the section which says appearance. So again, you can toggle this button to expand and collapse that, but we need it expanded so we can go to appearance and then themes here. So I'm going to click on themes. Okay, and you can see the current theme is actually this um, 2010 1.2. So that's what we were looking at in this tab. That's the um, that's this picture and this particular kind of layout. But it's very easy to change that. And the way we do it is we go to this second tab called Install Themes. Now there are a number of options here. You can click on these links at the top. You can search for a particular um, keyword or you can use this sort of filter here and just check these boxes. So for example, if you were maybe doing something on uh, fish keeping, for example, or goldfish keeping, then you could uh, type in fish here and uh, click search. And these are all the themes that are available for free in WordPress that are uh, sort of related to, to fish. So, um, for example, Fish Lover here, if you want to have a better uh, view of it, the, the easiest thing to do is actually click on the preview link. So I'll just do that for this. And we should just get a nice view. So if we installed this thing, this is kind of what our website would look like. Now that's not really what I'm looking for uh, for me. So I'm going to close this window and I'm going to be very boring and just do a, th a search on blue. So this will bring up all of the blue themes in WordPress. Okay, so there's a number to choose from and you can spend you know, almost hours really browsing through these if you want to. But for the sake of the video, I'm actually gonna pick one of these. I think this one looks quite nice. Let's just preview it. Okay, so yeah, maybe a little bit over the top with this picture, but I kind of like that. So let's go ahead and install uh, this theme. Okay, so I'll close the pre uh, preview window and just click on this install link here. Okay, so we just need to confirm the install, so I'll click on install now. Great, so it's very quick and it tells me that successfully installed the theme. Alright, so all I need to do now is just activate it. Alright, so make it live, in other words, on the website. So I'm just going to click on this activate link. Okay, brilliant. So new theme activated. Let's go back to our website and reload the page. Brilliant, okay. And you can see what I mean, that the title and the tagline are, are still the same, okay. So nothing changes apart from the look and feel of the website when you select a new theme. And it's very easy to, at any time, you can go from one theme to another. and You won't, you won't sort of destroy any content. So I'd really encourage you to sort of play around with this and uh, choose something that you think is appropriate and that you like yourself. Okay, so the next thing to do is actually add some content. You can see at the moment all we've got is this default Hello World post. And um, we just want to get rid of that and put something in that um, we've I've written. Uh, so I'll show you how to do that. We'll go back to the admin panel. And this time we go to the posts section. And I'll come down here to posts. Okay. All right. And here's our hello world post. And I want, just want to remove that. So I'm going to just click on the trash link here. Okay, all right, so that's deleted that and no posts found. So if we go back to the website and reload, okay, not found. All right, so there's literally nothing on our site at the moment. Right, so we'll go um, back and we'll add a new post. And we can do that just with under the posts section and click on add new. 
All right, so this is just like a word processor. If you're used, used to using um, uh, Word, Microsoft Word, for example, it's pretty similar to that. Okay, so we just need to enter a title and actually uh, the main body of the text. Now, for the sake of the video, rather than bore you by typing it all out, I've, I've created something already. So I'm just going to copy and paste from this notepad document and we'll copy that in. So welcome to robcornishonline.com and do the same for the body, main text. Okay, I'm just going to put some space it out a little bit here great now if you want to um, it's a good idea generally is to click on save draft so this just saves it internally in the back end of the website um, so you don't lose any information if it, you know if your computer crashes or something like that um, so that you can save the draft at any time but what I want to do is just make it live put it onto the website so Whenever you want to do that, you use this publish button here on the right hand side. So I'm just going to go ahead and click that. Okay, and it says at the top post published. So if I jump back to the website and refresh, great, and there's my post. So I've got the title there and uh, just my text. Now, what I'm just very sort of brief introduction. I'll just type this up very quickly. But um, you can see this last sentence here. If you would like to see these videos, then please head over to my main website at Gain High Ground. Now, what I'd really like is if that was a link so people could click on it and then get taken to the main gainhighground.com website. So we can do that very easily actually. If I jump back to Edit Post and I can see that text here so if I just um, highlight that I'll just hold down the left hand mouse button just highlight and go up to the top and there's this little sort of um, looks like a sort of chain um, icon and it's labeled insert edit link so I'll just click on that okay and just get this pop-up box just ask me for the web address so I'm just gonna say www.gain Higherground.com. Okay, and what I'd like to do as well is when people click on this, I'd like it to the website to open in a new uh, tab in their web browser. So for that, I just want to click on this um, check this box here. Okay, so very straightforward, and just click on add link. Okay, so you can see this is highlighted now, and uh, if I update the post with the update button. Okay, so it tells me post updated at the top. I go back to the website, refresh. Brilliant, and you can see I've now got a link. So if I click on this link, new tab opens as I wanted it to, and brilliant. So we go through to gain higher ground. So I've got all my videos here. So if people come to my other website, robcornishonline.com, they might click on that link, get taken through here, and they can see um, see all my uh, free content that I've got here on the site. Brilliant. Okay, so I'll close that. And the next thing I'd like to do is just change this sidebar. So the sidebar is just this column on the right-hand side, and it's got various things in it by default. And um, you know, I think you know I don't really need a calendar, and this sort of meta section looks quite messy, really. So. I'd just like to tidy that up a little bit and that's very easy to do. So uh, I just go back to the admin area and um, we need to go to the appearance section again. Now remember before we clicked on themes but this time we want to go to widgets. Okay so I'll click on widgets All right, and uh, all we have to do really is just click and drag the widgets that we want onto the sidebar and they will appear on the site. So, um, what I'd really like is to display just the recent posts um, on my website. So people have sort of links for my most recent um, things that I've posted onto the website. So that widget is down here. Now all I have to do is just sort of left click, hold the mouse button down, and I can literally just drag, release the mouse button, and drop. Okay. Now you can put an alternative um, title in if you want to, but I'm just going to leave it as it is. Click Save. 
Okay, we'll go back to the website. So that's what it looks like at the moment. And click refresh. Brilliant. So all of that default disappeared. And now I've just got the default um, search and my recent posts. Okay, so back in widgets, you can play around with this and make it look however you want, really. Um, you know, when if as and when your blog starts to get more popular, you might want to display the comments, for example, that people make on your posts, all sorts of things. You might want to put brief text um, intro there just to introduce yourself. There's all sorts of different things. But for now, I'm actually going to leave it as it is. I'm quite happy with that just for now, just with the search and recent posts. Okay, so the next thing is I would like to add a page. And um, I'll show you what I mean by a page. It's these links across the top. So depending on which theme you've actually selected, these may or may not be there. For most themes, they are there, but some themes are deliberately built without them. So um, just be aware of that. If you can't find how, if, if you can't see them on your theme, then it just means that that theme doesn't support uh, or doesn't show um, the pages. Um, but this one obviously does, and I'll show you how to add uh, a page. So at the moment, I've got this sample page, so I can click on that. And again, it's just got some sort of default text here. So I want to get rid of that. I don't want sample page here. What I really like is an about page. So when people visit the website, they can click on about and find out a little bit about me. All right, so I'll show you how to do that. Um, let's go back to home for a minute there. Okay, and we'll go back to the admin panel and we can go to the pages section. So I'm going to um, expand this by clicking on the down arrow go to pages okay and you can see that is our sample page now I want to get rid of that so I'm going to click on trash okay no pages found 